What did you think of that whole arc and did you enjoy that set? Like, what was that like? That set was the best. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see you saying, duh, never. I mean, it was there, so it was like this, you know, they, they have a huge studio and you can kind of like walk through the world, even if you're not shooting on the, you know, you know, like in those, in those sets. Um, so I got to see everything and it was really cool because that's what it's on TV and whatnot. But they built the cabin, so that was also in studio. For the, in, for the interior shots, right? And then the exteriors were on location. It's a beautiful island. I think it was Vancouver Island, perhaps. Um, it's like hours away. We would, we would get driven, so like the scenery, I don't know if I knew you went to that part of Canada, but it's just it's gorgeous. So not only are we like among a backdrop of, of beauty, but I'm just in the woods with, with my mates, like just having a great time. Um, that set was, was my favorite, for sure. Shit got a little weird in Bardo. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like constricted all the time in those outfits. I asked Tasia this during her panel, but um, do, do, were you given an explanation for your short haircut, or was it that they wanted to have someone shave their head? No, it just looked cool. Okay. Because all of a sudden, it's Jason's explanation. <laughs> I mean, all of a sudden, you and like Echo and, and um, you had short haircuts just out of the blue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you weren't given any reason. No, we just decided that, okay, one day we sat in a circle. We were like, let's just play a beauty parlor and find some lemon juice to bleach in the sun and then just get some cheers. I don't know, we were bored. It was five years, for Christ's sake. That's true. That's true. <laughs> what else did you do? And um, unlike many other characters, well, a few other characters on this show, um, you had to kill your mother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys know what that's like, right? <laughs> That seemed like a really intense, like the whole set, the whole Bardo situation, when he was very intense. Hope was an angry little girl, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, with good reason. With very good reason. Yeah. I hope you can forgive her, you guys. Yeah, no, that wasn't... Reading that script was, was, was heartbreaking, but also, like, it made sense in the, in the world of what we were doing. Ivana had a newborn, and needed to go live her life in Ireland where she was living, um, and still living. And then her responsibilities as a new mother. We had gotten very close, so like that goodbye was, you know, as harrowing as, as, as hope and the imagination that I had to go through, but also just kind of like, it felt like this severing between this bond that Ivana and I had created. So we had, you had a question yesterday that I couldn't really answer. I just didn't get to it, but my answer for it, it was something about like a, a moment, a scene that, that, you, that took a while to kind of, kind of bounce back from. And that was, that was one of them. Her, Ivana and I walked around set just alone. I'm going to cry right now. I miss her so much. Oh, um, and I have my period. <laughs> <laughs> we walked around set for a while and just held each other and like wept, you know? It was just like, it was a really, it was a really big moment. I mean, I felt those emotions. Like, I don't use a goddamn tear stick. Like, we, we, it was, it was, um, yeah, it was, it was a hard scene to do, but we, we walked it off, and there was nothing but love on the set, and no one ever made me feel unsupported, so. That's nice, because you tried the show so late, so it's nice yeah. to sort of brought in an embrace like that. Oh, it was such a well-oiled machine. By the time I got there, it yeah. was so, uh, yeah, pretty fraction. <laughs> but pretty. Nice. Okay. All right, well, um, it's St. Patrick's Day. We have the Flatteries. Let's line up for questions for either of these ladies. Irish? Flattery. <laughs> Irish, right? Yeah. Aren't you Irish, Lola? Well, I think so. Like, people have been telling me I am since that's my last name, so I kind of discovered that this weekend. <laughs> you just what we call you're black Irish. Irish. Yeah, I also we got told Irish. that. Yeah, we're black Irish. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Hello! Hello! This is from my sister Kaylee. She just died. But I, What's I your have sister's name? Kaylee. Kaylee. Um, this one's from Maddie. Do you like Taylor Swift? <laughs> I have to. Wait, does Maddie like Taylor Swift or do I like Taylor Swift? You. Okay. Um, I actually. <coughs> Excuse me. The first concert that I ever went to was, I think, 2014, when I was nine. 
That's when I graduated high school. I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. Um, I'm 70. It's fine. I said 70. Okay. Um, I was. It was Taylor Swift concert, and I was with like some of my best friends, and we were all just like, take it off, just take it off. Um, yeah. So yes. Have you seen the Eras tour? The what? Sorry. The current tour. No. Okay, just checking. No. Thank you. The movie's on Fox now. There's a movie? Yeah. It's not the same. <laughs> My first concert was Fergie, if anyone cares. <laughs> and mine was Duran Duran, so there you go. Hi, question for Shelby. We got Lola's answer yesterday. Uh, Shelby, if you could have played another character on the show, who would you have wanted to play? Uh, Burby. <laughs> nice. Okay. Murphy's the Murphy's the record holder. Like, Is that like unanimous. Or Every almost, single yeah. actor. That's so fucking annoying. I want a different answer then. <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's answer. because Richard's just like like the, like the soul to the earth. Like, I wish you could be here. I'm so pissed off. For his ego, I hope he watches all of these videos. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you. I know the answer to this question, but something that really bothered me in season seven. Where <laughs> I didn't I, write it. Can we just start now? Earrings, earrings, her earrings, Hope's earrings. She, she had, had so many. She had a bunch of earrings in her ear. Oh, those are mine, and I just didn't want to. And I just didn't know where she got them from. <laughs> she was in this house. I was just very focused on yeah, yeah, yeah. where Nails. she got these earrings. This is not really the show to like fall <laughs> down on. <laughs> Spend haircuts and jewelry. And I mean, where did she get this thing? Why does she have a poop? Like the, these questions, I don't have answers for you, my sweet, yeah. my sweet darling. <laughs> Fair question though, because I'm still upset about the hair. I still have those earrings in, by the way. Sorry. Hi. Uh, outside of acting, what are some of your hobbies or passions that you enjoy in your free time? <coughs> Well, aside from that, I don't know, like, sometimes when people ask me what my hobbies are, I realize how boring I am. <laughs> right? Um, wait, Lola, one word, cats. Oh my god, I have a kitten! I have a kitten! She's so cute and she weighs two pounds! Her name is Chowder. Because she looks like clam chowder. <laughs> Um, I, I'm a, I love to sing. I love to sing and, and, and started kind of trying to get over my um, ego and do something about that. I grew up in musical theater um, and I've kind of developed my own voice in the, in the recent years and so I want to start making music so follow me for that. Um, I, I'm a boring person but I love to read and I love to... Woo! Yeah, reading. <laughs> Good. Good kids. Uh, I like to I like to get on my bike. I like to hang out with my niece. Um, I really that's not a hobby, but for me it's my world. I really love my niece. She's two and a half. Um, uh, yeah. There's probably more that I'll be mad that I didn't say later, but that's what I got for you right now. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. My answer was my cat. I think she's doing fine. <laughs> Also, my hobby, so. Right? Yes. You get me. Yeah, I have an orange tabby. His name is Samson, and I love him. Thank you. Samson, you said? Yes. Cute. Um, so, I've been asking everybody this question, um, and it's not about the show because there was a confusion at the last panel I was at. And we were like, it's not. They, these people get confused so easily. They're a bunch of dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> these questions are. Um, so there are a lot of mysteries and unknowns in this universe. If you can find or have the answer to one mystery, which one would you want to know? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. A mystery in the universe. Like, just why? Yeah, honestly, balance. Just why? Yeah. Balance. 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 Why are we here? I think the answer is probably that, like there's no there's no reason you just have to do it anyways and make up your own reason. But yeah, if there was a reason, it'd be cool to know. Question in your 18 years of wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
also wise. Um, I think something that I've always pondered that there might be an answer to, but I'm just not quite sure of it yet, is, well, there is not really an answer, but how the universe was formed and how the universe is expanding and where is it expanding? What are we growing into? Where is the matter coming from? Where are we going? Also, how all the planets and all the dark matter in the universe is shifting and moving. Where is it going? Where are we growing to? Wow. So, yeah, why? A plus. Yeah. A plus. Yeah. That was so deep. Why was such a deep question? I'm scared. So, I asked a similar question to Sarah earlier, and both of your characters came in in later seasons. If your characters could come in in earlier seasons, what do you think they would have been like? Or was it would have been like? Or if you could have had like a character. Yeah, for, not obviously it could necessarily be the same character as a Hell of yeah. but like a character with a similar personality. Okay. In early as an actor, I can answer that. I don't know what hope, but I love. Uh, was it season two, Mount Weather? I just like, I, want, I would as an actor want to be a part of that drama because it was just so dark. And I also, what's that actor? Devin. His name is Devin? Jasper? Jasper, oh. <laughs> I have a big, big crush on him, so I would like to be on the Who's Roderick? 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 I was in love with him growing up. He's just so <laughs> charming. Right? And he was like edgy and in a band and I was with him. I was like, Stop. Did you fangirl when you met Richard? Richard? I'm oh, sorry. De Devin, sorry. I never got to meet their brother. That's right. That's why I can say without it being like weird that I was in love with him. <laughs> sorry, does that end? Not really. Devin. Nobody beats Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> If uh, Maddie was in an earlier season, what do you think? What that would be like? Well, I, you know, you have to take into account that in season one, I was five. Right. Well, I mean, I don't necessarily, like, I mean, like, your character, like, I just assumed season one was when we started. Oh, was when we started? Oh. I just assumed. I guess the only thing that I can really say about that is that she would have learned a lot of the lessons that she had been trying to learn over the course of her actually being on the show, like when she was a lot earlier. So I think that being placed into situations like Mount Weather and everything that they went through from seasons one to five, she would have matured a lot faster, which is a bit unfortunate for Maddie, considering she's just a baby. But yeah. I think Lexa would have found out that you were an athlete and protected you in the tower and like yeah. done her best to protect you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is this is kind of dark. Uh, did you did you realize that Maddie was probably blind by the time she transcended? She didn't she didn't blink her eyes left. Was her. probably what, sorry? Blind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Blind. What do you mean? You know Lola's actually colorblind, so you might be triggering her. Right? I am partially colorblind. The green is overwhelming me today. <laughs> she didn't have the ability to blink, and no one ever shut her eyes. Oh, oh that's <laughs> pretty sad. Let's pretend they pay attention to details. Right? Yes. I'm <laughs> okay, we didn't say, but let's just pretend that Clark did that. Just you know. Yeah. 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 Let's just pretend that Clark did that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it made the. Something that I've always struggled with as an actor, I think because I was so young and so embarrassed of crying, is crying. So whenever there was an emotional scene, I would always have to like take four hours to prepare me. It's okay, they're not gonna make fun of you, you can cry. Or like, yeah. Oh my gosh. We should unpack that. <laughs> so it all started in 2005. Um, when you were born. Right? The little tear sticks that you put in your eye, and then I could fake cry. Um, but that scene, because my eyes had to be open, my eyes were water anyway, so it led me to cry, as I was supposed to for the scene. So maybe she wasn't blind, but it turned out good for me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Here, the bottle, bottle. Where did 
my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I have a question for Shelby. How do you think Hope would have been different if she had the chance to meet her biological father? Oh boy, but Riri. <laughs> oh jeez. She probably would be softer, actually, because I think she would see someone who she would actively want to be, not like, you know what I mean? I think uh, he was a hard, a hard, a hard guy. And also, she just had the story a little bit earlier. I think, I think those answers would have made her maybe feel a little more contented and less angry, and less searching. She was searching all the time for answers. I don't even think she knew really what the questions were. And if she, and if she knew where she came from, I think what like even though it was tainted and, and maybe ugly, I think it probably would have given her a sense of calm. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, how we doing? Good, good. Well, for Lola, well, both of y'all, one thing I love about this show is just how powerful the women are. Um, you know, even though, yeah, just give it up for them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even though they go through like emotional things, one thing I noticed, like, especially with Lola's character, she's young, but you don't want to mess with her, you know? And it's just like, man, it just, for you to be able to capture that, especially during season five and six, just like, man, this is amazing how she can just capture that fullness and like, you look at it and like, even now I'm like a little trembling just because <laughs> it's just, you've captured that essence so well and so good job with that. Thank you, yeah. I really appreciate that, that means a lot. Uh, no problem. Uh, Shelby, and like you explained earlier with your scene with Yoza, I'm gonna be honest, I watched that scene and I had to stop just because it was, it, it was a lot. It was a lot to process. It's like, you go from this girl who's just so angry and now a choice that she, one choice that she made to the person that she loved the most. And it was like, man, how can I finish this show? Like, I wanted to stop it right there. I'm like, I can't. I can make it easier on you right now. Okay, so like, when we were filming, I, you know when she's like pounding the glass? Yeah. I was pounding the glass, like, I like, thought I was doing such a good job because I'm really feeling it. And like, so sad. And then I look at the monitor. The first AD, it was like, you gotta, you gotta look at this. <laughs> I look at the monitor of what they've been shooting, and my nose was like. <laughs> <laughs> and so we had to do another take, and I had to do it all over again. <laughs> so if you want to watch it, keep that in mind, and then I'll give you a giggle, and you'll be able to get through it. Appreciate it. question is more for Shelby. Uh, you did mention wanting to go more into music. What genre of music would you like to do? Genre of music? I kind of want to create my own genre. <laughs> um, I mean, my, my voice really sits as you can probably tell in the way I speak, but um, I'm kind of like a, a lower register, but I also I want to explore my soprano, which is absolutely there. Um, but that's not a genre. Uh, I, I love R&B a lot, um, but I love groups like Portishead and kind of like those early 90s grunge, um, a lot of dark melody. Um, but yeah, I just, I just go with what's in my head and I don't necessarily like follow genre. Um, I just follow what happens in my brain and then I have my boyfriend who's sitting somewhere here. He really helps me kind of like give it a pathway to follow. Um, so I'm still figuring it out. Stay tuned. Hi. <laughs> Last call. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Someone just turned up there. The day is young. This, this place is so unhinged. I love you guys. <laughs> this is the best unhinged call. There's like vodka bottles in there. And oh, they're like, these are from fans. I was like, this is so stupid. I love you guys. Hi, <laughs> I have a question for Shali. Hi. Um, from your character's perspective, why, even after five years together in Skyrim, why is Hope so snippy at Slippy? Echo? And yes, snaps at Echo. Sleepy? Sleepy. 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 Like was she sleepy though? Know? <laughs> she was laying there a lot. That's a good question. I mean, man, come on. Like, first of all, she had really bad social skills. Like, keep in mind, those. Those two, well, other than Deb, 
you know, the man who raised her, like, her, the only people that she knew in the universe up until that point. And so her emotional regulation system is not like ours who have been around people our whole lives. And so when I kept that in mind, and also with just like the anger of what she was going through, I think she, I think a lot of her anger was, was mis, misguided, misdirected. Um, and you know, we hurt the people that we love the most. They're closest to us. It's unfortunate, but they're the ones that they usually get the brunt of, of what we're feeling that we haven't processed ourselves, and she had a lot that was unprocessed. So I guess that's that would be her for her. Hopefully, her answer. She gone through years of therapy. I have. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. That does kind of make sense. So, so you can see that they can help care about each other. Like, they do. Why is Hope so mean? I well, she that was me back, man. <laughs> thank you for the question. Hey, let's thank um, Lola and Joe. Thank you for coming. Woo! I like these like intimate ones. This is a lot easier. Yeah, right? this is fun. Thank Lola's my sister. So. We're actually related. There you go. We just test yesterday and we're related. Even though there's one end, she just got missing along the line. That was line. someone added it. Uh, it was our uncle. Oh yeah, he just said Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yeah, we're related. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone get a picture of them? Can everyone get a picture of them? After I see an eight test. Yeah, everyone take out your mask. <laughs> 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 okay. Yes.